a particle is projected from a trolley car with a velocity v bar. If the trolley car moves with an acceleration a bar towards the right, then the quantity that remain unchanged relative to both ground and trolley car is. This trolley car is moving with an acceleration a bar. When a particle is projected from this trolley car with an initial velocity v bar, relative to both ground and trolley car, which of the following is constant? First one time of flight, horizontal velocity, range and maximum range. When a particle is projected from a trolley with the initial velocity v bar, the horizontal component of the velocity vx is equals to v cos theta and the vertical component of the velocity v sin theta. But this trolley is moving along the horizontal direction with a certain acceleration. So this trolley possesses a horizontal velocity. Let it be v dash. Let us suppose a person standing inside the trolley and another person standing outside the trolley. Person A and person B. So relative to the trolley, that means relative to person B, horizontal component of the velocity is only V cos theta. But relative to ground, that means person A, this trolley is moving with a certain horizontal velocity. At the same time, this particle is projected due to that it possesses the horizontal component V cos theta. Relative to person A, that means ground, horizontal component of the velocity is V cos theta plus V dash. But relative to person B, that means trolley, horizontal component of the velocity is Vx is equals to V cos theta. Range is equals to horizontal component of the velocity into time of flight. In these two cases, horizontal component of the velocity is different. So, range is also different relative to ground and relative to trolley. Range is different. When range is different, then maximum range also different. Time of flight is equals to 2 u sin theta by g. u sin theta is vertical component of the velocity. This trolley is moving along horizontal direction. There is no velocity of the trolley along vertical direction. The vertical component of the particle is v sin theta. Either relative to ground or relative to trolley, vertical component of the velocity is remains constant. So time of flight is constant relative to ground and trolley. So horizontal component of velocity is different, range is different, maximum range is different, but time of flight is remains constant. The quantity that remain unchanged relative to both ground and trolley. So time of flight is remains the same. First option is correct.